Hi everybody, it's Tina. Welcome to my video today. I am going to be creating a card with you guys and this uh, video and the blog post that goes with it is for the Thailand Achievers Blog Hop. A group of demonstrators that achieved the Thailand incentive trip get together each month and we share projects with you. And this month our theme is saying goodbye to celebrations. So celebrations is over in just a few weeks and it ends at the end of March. So all of the items that you can get for free when you place a $50 order will be going away forever. So I'm going to be using two of those items today. The first one is this inlines designer paper. Now I got this paper and I did not think that I would use it at all. I had gotten it because I wanted to see how it looked in person and I just thought I'm not really into coloring and so I'm probably not going to be using this but I've used it a ton and we're going to be using it today and it turned out so cute. I'm super sad that this paper is going away so I'm going to hoard this and keep using just tiny, tiny bits of it on my projects. And then this stamp set was out on my desk already from my project yesterday. I'll throw a card right up here and you can check that out. And so it was out on my desk already. So I just went ahead and I used this B. It worked perfect. And then I'm going to be using this stamp set for this sentiment. And I've cut this apart. So instead of it being in two lines, I wanted it to be in three. So I've cut mine apart and that's what we're going to be using. So let's go ahead and dive in and get started. Now I've done a ton of the work ahead of time because for one thing, I want you guys to be able to hop to all of the other blogs and watch the videos and see the projects. Um, and so I don't want you to be here forever. And then there's a lot of different steps. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm starting with a piece of five and a half by four and a quarter thick whisper white cardstock. And this is, uh, so this is gonna be my card base and then we're gonna build our card on top of this. So we have my card base right here. And then now I took a piece of four and a quarter by three inches of that designer paper, that inline designer paper. And we're going to layer this right on the bottom. So that's going down flat and it's stretching all the way across my card. Now what I've done is I've taken a piece of crushed curry. Now crushed curry was also already on my desk and that's what I like to do a lot of times is just use items that are on my desk so I get a lot of use out of it. And I used this dynamic embossing folder to give this uh, hexagon honeycomb design. So it's really, um, it's embossed really intensely. It's a thick embossing folder. So we're going to do a few things to this. I want it to lay on my card like this. This is a card design that I saw on Pinterest and I'm afraid that I don't know who I saw it from. It was just a card design that I thought would be really cool um, to do like this. Um, the one I saw it had a curve. Um, I saw a couple like that, so I thought I would try it. The one that I saw particularly with this design had a window sheet down here, which would be cute as well. So we're going to do a few things with this because then we're going to pop it up. The first thing we're going to do is take some basic black baker's twine and we're going to tie a bow on this. All right, so all I did was just put the baker's twine on here. I used this side as a guide. Uh, to wear how high I wanted my baker's twine and then I stuck a little glue dot right under that bow and that's going to hold that bow in place and then I put some foam tape on the very back of this and we're going to attach this to our card and then we're going to get to stamping. So I'm just going to use this as a guide up here. Card base. Mine's a little bit over to this side because of the way I stuck that down. I just want to make sure you get yours lined up. So now let's do some stamping. I'm going to do some embossing as well. I have have a black circle here and this is cut with our circle stitched framelits and I'm just using my embossing buddy and I'm putting some embossing powder down onto this black circle and then we're going to take a Versamark and I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see me do the stamping on this. You'll notice it has a little bit of white powder on it but we'll fix that.
favorite things to do. So I embossed that sentiment with white embossing powder. I heat set it and then I added some foam to the back of this circle. And we're going to layer this on here. We'll push that down. And then I stamped and cut out two of those little bees from the puns intended stamp set. And I just did really simple coloring just with a yellow marker because it was on my desk. I did a crushed curry uh, marker and it was already right there and so it worked out perfect. So I put a little bit of adhesive right there on its wing and then we'll put it right there. So the very last thing that I wanna do is I have some sequins and I want to place some of these sequins on the card. So what I like to do is just take a few out and put it on my desk, just pick up a few, place these on here with glue dots. I grab my glue dot roll and I just pick these up and I place them right on the glue dot. I don't worry if it's completely covering the glue dot. We'll fix it when we place it on the card. So let me get a few of these on here and then I'll show you what to do next. I have a bunch of these on here. So let me zoom in so I can show you guys. So I'll set my card right here. I'm going to put my sequence in this area. So they're on my glue dot right there. So I take my X-Acto knife and I just press that glue dot and make sure it's under the sequence completely. And then we'll take that off and we'll just place them around. And these will move around right on your glue dot. So if they're not perfectly on there, just move it around a little bit. And then I like to do mine and set of three. And see this sequence is smaller than the glue dot, so we'll just press that around and then we'll put it on here. And then even once it gets on your paper, you can press that around and move it around. So then take that sequence and you can even with your finger kind of smash it down. And then what that does is it also gives it a little bit of dimension. my card for today you guys I hope you enjoyed seeing this I love how this turned out and I love being able to cut my stamps apart so if you guys want to pick up any of the celebration items that are left if you want the stamp set for every $50 that you spend you get to pick out a free celebration items and they are well supplies last the glimmer paper that the 6x6 glimmer paper I've used a lot of is sold out and the gold card 10 is sold out so these are while supplies last and things are going quickly so if you want to pick up any of the supplies i use they'll be linked down in the youtube description or over on my coordinating blog post please head on over to my coordinating blog post post so that you can hop to the next person and see their project i hope you guys are having a wonderful tuesday and i will talk to you guys later